Hi Rex, uh, this is a video response about your questions on Reddit for the infinite MP uh, build, the increasing your max MP uh, during the chain cancels, and then also the uh, ridiculous health question. Unfortunately, I won't be addressing the, the break damage question, uh, but just mostly know that that'll be a stats thing as well as uh, choosing a, a hard hitting move. Um, so talking about the, uh, the MP recovery, uh, Penguin Steve was referencing the summarized 600% uh, affinity. So when you do a combo ability effect, uh, specifically an effect, uh, you also trigger parry buffs. Um, so I, I have parry buffs like parry MP recovery uh, across a lot of my gear, um, just in this video. And so we'll say I have about 64% parry MP recovery. And those will all go into effect as long as I do a combo ability effect. Now, in the case of, say, a combo ability effect on the Paladin uh, Royal Guard with a sword, they have one for the first slot, as well as the third slot and the forward attack slot. Uh, there's also a little circle on the left side of the input instead of a like a diamond shape if there is a combo ability effect for that uh, slot. And as long as that uh, combo ability, uh, sorry, the normal attack before the combo ability hits an enemy, and then I do the combo ability, I will trigger the Samurai 600%. So against nothing, I don't get that effect. But if I run up to Goblin over here, attack, do my combo ability, I'm now getting buffs. I'm sorry, I am now getting parry MP recovery. And there's so much here that I was able to fuel, eh, we'll say like maybe six, six to ten buffs, or uh, I'm not entirely sure how much that was. So that's one component. And then the uh, the chain cancel question, uh, summoner one twenty percent increases max MP when chain canceling, and also the eighty percent one. So I get about uh, with those combined. I get about 40 max MP whenever I chain cancel. So uh, if I do a, um, I'm sorry. So let's say I do a combo ability and then I chain cancel, which is uh, changing your job before that animation finishes of a combo ability or a job action. So I'm changing my job and now I should have about 280 MP because I, I chain canceled twice so far. Um, so I, I have about 280 over there, but then you have some jobs that use job actions that don't cost any MP. So these other tyrant spells, they cost magic, but and magic or um, and Luna or ninjas, shurikens, uh, they don't cost any MP. So you could chain cancel off of a zero MP ability. Um, Although I wouldn't actually want to attack with end magic because that would just uh, really drain my my MP. But uh, so I could potentially do that in combat. Um, and then to address the 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 next question about the uh, the the ridiculous HP is players are probably running around with either uh, knight four hundred percent or the Gilgamesh accessory. Lionheart for the Invincible, which is the, the same as Knight 400%. Uh, so during Lightbringer, you don't take any HP damage, uh, and your Lightbringer just goes down instead based on the damage you take. So <laughs> let's say I go and get smacked around a little bit by the Goblin. Um, I'm not losing any HP. I'm just losing Lightbringer gauge instead, uh, which is kind of how it worked before. Uh, I'm sorry, not before. Uh, just Lightbringer works even without Knight, 400%. And then, so, let's say I go and try to fight, and I'm like, alright, gotta do my thing. And I'm like, just trying to fight here. And I'm getting a mix of both Max MP and all this other good stuff in the middle of combat. And I kind of start to keep that flow up until I'm at, I, I can use my Lightbringer again, and then I'll, I'll be at, um, uh, I'll be invincible again. And then to make things a little bit more ridiculous, uh, 
I have on my second job, just for the video at least, I have Cyclic Warrior 600% so that whenever I do a Lightbringer, I trigger a Soul Shield. And, uh, and then I have the Leviathan Blessing. Uh, whenever I do a Soul Shield, I get max MP and MP recovery. So by those selves, uh, it doesn't do too much. But if I start to find ways to uh, increase my max MP limit, so things like my Master Points and my Void Knight, I now have increased MP limit by uh, 39%. And then I also have, I'm sorry, so Void Knight 80 and 120%. Uh, and your master points. And then on top of that, I also reduce the cost of my command abilities, like Lightbringer. And what you end up with, and I'm going to switch this just to Dimension Bringer to speed up the speed, is you end up with something that I just used Dimension Bringer. I have a or Lightbringer, and I lost 16 max MP. And so I could potentially go like, eh, and then just, you might see players doing this as well. Um, and so just imagine that's how many light bringers I could have had in the middle of all of that. Uh, but you still need the, the MP to actually start that up. So be careful on the command trials and the max MP trials and the buff duration trials. Um, all of those will gradually start to prevent that lifestyle. Uh, or like light bringer. Oh, I'm just. All of those are roughly 20 seconds of invincibility. And it might look like things are pretty broken, except that uh, we can still very much die uh, to like a Gilgamesh or a Death Machine, or uh, if we don't have any damage mitigation, or things kind of slip, or you get silenced. Um, the, so still just kind of a heads up, a lot of pieces of the puzzle to, to address, and you'll still have some affinities left over, depending on how you play it. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry, video kind of long, but uh, I hope that helps some.